Okay, we're at day one. I hope we're live. I'm not sure. There's probably not a single person watching yet, but that doesn't matter. Um, here we can see the, um, the live leaderboard. I am already late to the to the party, but that's that's quite okay. So um, we're gonna okay. go. Okay, we're at day one. I oh, hope we're yeah. live. I'm Goodness. not sure. There's probably not. That is not right. Watching yet, but that doesn't matter. There. So there you can see the lag. Ha. Uh, okay. We're good. I think we're good. This is very scary the first time. So um, day one is ready. We're gonna start doing day one, but um, let's start our 3270 first. See if I can show that to you guys by doing this. Yes. So we're just gonna log on first. And I can explain a little on the the weird tool I'm using to to help me do Advent of Code here. Um, I've made a little panel that will download the um, the puzzle input for me. Um, for that, yeah, I need a little configuration file. Here's an example where I tell my Rex to the location of curl. I take my session cookie from Advent of Code. There's a little explanation on this URL here. Um, and I tell it where to store the, the downloaded files. So without further ado, we are gonna start this up. This is me testing 2015 to see if it all worked. So we are gonna try if that works. And it seems to have downloaded it. So we can start with day one. The script already generates the boilerplate code pointing it to the downloaded file. So I don't even know how big it is, but we're gonna have a look at our puzzle first. So let's head on over to the advent of code. 19 hours for the next one. Oh dear, um, trebuchet, something is wrong with the snow production. Um, we've got a map. And we need 50 stars. Of course, we always need 50 stars. Um, While well, your map looks mostly blank, you discover that the calibration document has been amended by a very young elf who was apparently just excited to show off her art skills. They're having trouble reading the values. The newly calibration document consists of lines of text. Each line originally contained a specific value but it's combining the first digit and the last digit to form a single two-digit number. Okay, so we take the first and the last of every line and then create a number out of that and add them up. That should be, that should be doable. Um, yeah, that should be doable. So um, we're not going to be typing in ISPF, I think. So let's get out of that one and go to our VS Code, where we can probably refresh our page. Oh, I better share that. Yeah, it is shared, right? Yes. So here's our file. And we need to, we need to edit that for creating the two things. So we need to take the first and the last digit. I would say that is simple substringing. So um, the length is, um, I don't even know how to do that anymore. The length of file dot file.i and um, uh, digit a is the substring of file.i comma one comma one and b equals the substring of file.i comma l comma one do a quick test run. Nah. Some 
equals A and B. Mm, what did it want? What did it want? What did it want here? Um, the sum of all those numbers. Okay. The sum of all those numbers. So, I'll do that here. P1 equals 0. P1 equals P1 plus the sum. And then once we're done, once we are done, we're going to say solution part 1. P1. Save. Hmm. That feels scarily too easy. So we're going to go here and we can see that all the data is here as well. And then we should be able to run it. And of course that breaks. So we have to see what we have done here. Let's go print say uh, say input input equals file dot i say uh, and it's gonna put the things behind each other a b and say some And then leave because we don't want to do the whole file for our humongous debugging purposes. Oh, there isn't any. Is that in the text? Was I not reading well? Was I not reading well? Oh, I wasn't reading well. It's the first digit and not the other one. Hmm, okay, okay, so we need to iterate through the entire thing, and then, holy moly, find those positions, so um, position of A and the position of B, and we could probably find that with an easy rex function probably probably let's google no let's let's see how we do this we are gonna do this very naively and go um, for do j equals 1 to l so we're gonna go through the entire length Uh, the character equals the substring of kind of i at position j length one um, we don't need this we probably can say our our number equals nothing if was it digit Eric hmm. let's do this stupid if the if C dot um, oh my goodness it's been such a long time we need to find if that thing is a number so if C I think it is digit. Why doesn't VS Code help me here with um, some codes? I'm googling Rex C if character is digit. Oh yeah, data type. If data type C equals N for number. Yeah, if it's a number, then... Hey, 
get away. Then our number is our number with C. And let's just hope there's always two digits. And then we can get rid of all of this. And do NMR and get rid of that B. So I've taken a stupid variable name. Save it again. Run it again. Do what? Do what? Say C NMR. Save it. Run it. So there's your number, there's your number. Then this one doesn't like it. Why doesn't it like that? Again, run character character num. Oh, it's full. Why uh, run? Okay, that looks better. Get rid of our debug. Get rid of our debug. And that should be it. Uh, that uh, should be it. Run. Run. Still 18 because we have that leaf there. We have that leaf there. Now it looks good, so I can share that piece with you. We go here, we're gonna run it. Yes. That's one humongous number. Moment of truth, huh? Let's go to our advent of code to give it that number. And it is not the right answer. Why is that? What did I do wrong? Single two digit number. Oh, first and the last. So there's probably multiple, there's probably multiple digits. So we need to account for that. Always case that you read things right, huh? So, the first and the last. Mm. I'll do this very stupid. I'm going to repeat this entire block. J is L to one by minus one. I'm just gonna go left to right. And then if we find one, we should get a totally different number. And then we leave two. Ah. Let's see. Let us see what we can see. It should be less than 17 and a lot of digits, huh? Of course that breaks. Uh, J is one, one. Changing a bit of the code there. doesn't look right. We're gonna try go here for a change so we keep everything keep everything in one little screen. Probably this streaming stuff is hard. I can't remember to select the right screen for you to watch. So we're gonna go here and do a little bit of thinking. A little bit of thinking 
Mm, this should be so easy, huh? Put the cursor and go there, go there, go there. Probably doing something very not smart here. If we have a number, then I'm going to just do the A bit, A and a B bit, an A and a B bit. So the first time we find something, then do <coughs> and the first time we find something A equals C and first equals one. So we found our first number if First, if we haven't found our first number, A equals C, then do and go to the right. Else, B is that number. Is that number? And then we pass the whole string and we can say our number equals A with B. Run it. Fifteen thousand seventy seven. Remember to switch the screen and find <clears throat> find our puzzle, um, paste it in, and it's still not right. What are we doing wrong? I feel so stupid. Okay, back to the drawing board, or the whatever you call it. doing the right thing. What is with this print all the time? File dot I print one and that just puts it to C C C C C. One and eight, eight and two. Oh my goodness, these things. Seven and seven. Doesn't look right to me. Because this should be seven and eight. And how can that be eighteen? Oops, better press that attention key and Start our thing again. Ha! We are not putting this in the right spot. 
So it will never find some. Run it! Oh, please, without all that debug, huh? Hi. Let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you. Well, let's hope that we have that correct this time. But <laughs> I suck at this, that is good. Maybe it's our input file correct. No, that looked right. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Well, that is nice struggling. A equals C. Still do the print. C. Line dot. Say line. I will just target each other A, B, MMR, and MR. Big run again. So, one and eight, eighteen, are we even? Are we even reading that text correct? See, I forgot to switch the screen. This live streaming really doesn't work. Really, really doesn't work. So we are going to go back to day one and probably read each line. First digit and the last digit to form a single two digit number, and they are added up. They are added up. First digit, last digit. First digit, last digit. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Testing and testing and testing. First. Am I going blind here? What do we do if there is only one digit? Then the first digit is the last digit. So we need to reset those things. That is probably it. How much input do we have? Is it really much? Holy moly, Eric, what have you done? Attention key, please. Edit. So, this is, I think, the painful lesson of initialize your variables at the right time. Mm -mm. Run. Without all that debug, please. Attention. Kill it once more. Get rid of this. And run it. Not the number we had earlier, I think, but I'm not sure. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. This is terrible. Aha, it's reading as well. So if there's only one digit, you get it twice. So if there is only one digit, you get it twice. So maybe we should have worked with the example data first. If there's only one digit, 
So if B is bigger than zero, then NMR equals NMR. No, equals that thing. Else, so B is zero, NMR equals that first digit with the first digit, because it's also the last digit. Mental note to self to read the puzzles better. Kind of feels like the same number. It kind of feels like the same number, but now I have to wait for three minutes. Oh my goodness, then we can clean up the code a bit, hoping that it works. Yes. Put some comments in so we know what we've done when we look at it. Um, Well, it's not really adding, is it? It's coming first and last digit of string. Three whole minutes. Three whole minutes. So we wait. I wish I could see if anybody, <coughs> anybody was watching this, but I don't even see how I could see that. Funny. Funny, funny, funny. How long do we have to wait? Mm -mm -mm. We have to wait. We have to wait. We have to run our thing again for our number. Quickly without sharing the screen, and then we see how long we have to wait. Oh, one minute sixteen. Not too long. Not too long. Yes. So what do we think? Time's up? Time's up, maybe. Let's try again. Please be right. 28 seconds. Come on, what are you doing to me? What are you doing? Well, if anything, it shows you how much trouble you can get <laughs> on first day. Um, lessons learned, please read the puzzle text more properly, Henry. They'll help you next time. I think we are there. I think we are out of 28 seconds. Woohoo! Well, finally one gold star. So we can continue to part two, but first we're going to have a little peek at our private leaderboard over here. Uh, at least I got one star. So we're doing good. Let us go to part two. Of course it isn't quite right. It wasn't quite right to start with. We are really going to read this correctly now. It looks like some of the digits are actually spelled out with letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
and also count as valid digits. Equipped with this new information, you need to find the real first and last digit on each line, for example. Oh my goodness, this is a pretty, pretty hefty day one. What have you done? Um, I think I am going to stop the live stream or this will be hours because I'll probably be spending too much time over engineering this. Um, but the solution will definitely be on the GitHub. Um, so we might go and push our solution. So it's there for part one. Yeah, let's do that. Let us do that and do another nice little showcase of our good friend Ziggy. Which also put on the um, on the IBM instance for Advent of Code, so you can all use that. You will find that in the AOC twenty three dot help me PDS, I think. Um, I do hope I have it set up already on this system. I think I did. Come on. All these new files and some modifications here that we're not going to push yet. 23.1. Add that one. Let's commit that one. There won't be one. better and go well that concludes a painful day one um, very curious to comments oh let's push that out as well so it's there <laughs>